Hey there, I'm your host Lesawi, and in today's video I'll show you how to create a skill point system. So let's say I hit one on my keyboard, I'll get a few points and eventually level up. So I have it set up that every level gives me three skill points, but of course you can adjust this value. So if I bring the menu up, I have three points. Let's say I level up once more, now I have six. These skill points can be applied to pretty much anything you can think of. For the purpose of the tutorial, I only have the health set up. And if I want to increase my health, so let's do one point and another one, every point I have set up to give me 10 max health. So I can always go back. But let's say if I want to make this change permanent, I hit apply. And at that point, I can't go back anymore. It won't let me. So in this video, I'll show you how to do exactly that. Open up your world and let's go into the content drawer. So over here, you want to find your player. So for me, it's going to be the third person character. Let's go inside. And first, let's go to our level function. So for me, it is called XP gain. Once inside, we can see this part here increments my level. So let's create a function called skill points. And this is going to be a float. So every time I level up, I want to get three skill points. So let's get this. Let's get an add. And I'll say three. And then, of course, we can set this here. So set this into the existing code. And let's connect this guy. And we can compile. And we don't need this anymore, so we can exit. Then we want to create a function that checks if we have skill points. So hit the plus and say check. That's a capital H check skill points. So we will get our skill points. And if this is greater than zero, meaning we do have them, we'll get a branch, connect this into here. And then we need to make another variable called has skill points. And of course, this is going to be a float or a boolean, my bad. And if we have, then this is set to true. And if we don't, then of course, it's going to be set to false. So connect that like so. And this is false. So then we are going to create a exactly the same function, except it's going to have invested points. So uh, hit the plus and say check. That's a couple check invested points. So we need to create a variable called invested points. And this is going to be a float. So we get this. And if this again is greater than zero, it means we've invested some points. We get a branch. And on true, we have another variable, a boolean called um, has invested points. And this is going to be a boolean. So get that or set it, I mean. And this is going to be true. And then again, it's going to be false. So one more function we need is for our health or whatever you are increasing. So I'll create a plus and I'll call it health points. And over here, I want to create a input. So I'll get my max health. So max health. And this is a float. And we get our max health and find it there we are to get this we add that and then what i want to do is i want to set this value so if i get my max health set max health like so and i think that's pretty much it so let's compile and save this next part is not necessary but if you want to have a visual on the changes you've made it's great so let's go into our content drawer and since I'm using the health bar, I'll go here and I want to add a text. So we can add this and I'll add it to my horizontal box. And the reason for that is it's going to keep my text center aligned. So I'll do fill, center align. And then for the text, I'll say 100 out of 100. So that way we can keep a track of our maximum value. And for size, I'll say 18. That's fine with me. Let's make this variable and let's create a binding. So inside this binding, I want to cast to my player. So cast to third person character. Since that's what I'm using, object is going to be get player character. Here we are. And then I want to get my health. I want to get my max health. And I'm going to 
lamp these guys like so and this is going to go here then from this guy i want to do text to float and from here format text break this chain and we can connect this into there and here i'm going to say curly bracket and of course you can have whatever you want i'll just say x i'm going to do a divide and once again i'm going to say y that way this value can go into x and over here if i do get max health we can bring this value uh, text to float and i'll be able to plug this into y that way we get our current health and also our maximum health once that's done we can compile and save okay next i want to add my skill points menu so let's right click go to user interface widget blueprint and call this whatever you see suitable i'll call it skill menu once that's done let's go inside and over here i will add a canvas panel on top of the canvas panel let's add a vertical box then inside of our vertical box let's add a horizontal box then let's add a button and by no means is this a beautiful uh, skill menu it's just there to give you an idea a generic idea of what you can do so let's say get a text and add this to our button select your vertical box and make the size 500 size y is going to be 600 then i'm going to say center align put this over here oh, so for text i'm going to say 56 i want the button to be fill select the text once more and since this is at the very top let's say skill points double colon and nine this is for reference make this variable because we will add uh, edit this later then uh, select your horizontal box and at the very bottom at the padding of 30 then select the horizontal box the button and the text copy and paste this inside of the vertical box over here uh, let's change this to a minus that's not a minus that's a minus select the box copy paste that again inside the horizontal box this time let's change this to plus like so select the button once more copy and horizontal box paste and in the very middle i want this to say health now it's going to look a bit weird so go over uh, on the button and inside of the size um, beside fill change this value to three like so and then we can add a padding on the right of 10 and on the left of 10 as well so that's that and one more thing we can do is add an apply button so if i copy my horizontal box paste it here i can remove this remove this and this can say apply and for uh it's a little big so let's give it a 150 and 150 as well that's looking a little bit too short so about 120 and 120 looks good so once you're happy uh, this is a generic layout rename all the buttons because you will get confused so let's get our minus button call this the sub health then of course this is going to be our add health then apply button is going to call be called apply button and this doesn't need anything this is just the health button yes um yeah that's pretty much it let's compile and save so over in the event graph of our skill menu let's delete these guys and find our add health so let's do unclick and from here i'm going to call the function we created in our player so first i need to cast to our character so let's do uh, begin what's this function called event construct so on event construct we are going to cast to third person character object is get player character and simply promote this to a variable and call this character ref or player reference whatever you like and then we can get this guy 
and from here we can call our function so has skill points or check check skill points connect this into here then let's get our get as skill points and if this is true then we are going to do something so from true let's say set i need to get this actually set skill points and we need to set few skill points so let's get skill points then over from here i'm going to do a minus because we are increasing a health so of course we want to subtract one uh, point let's do one we can do a lamp so float and on max you just want to say 999 and you can plug this into the skill points over here let me just make it a little bit uh, more pretty and then over here at the set skill points we want to do health points because of course we want to increase our health and the amount we're increasing it by is going to be 10. then at the very end we want to say uh, we've invested one skill point so get invested points and over here we are going to do plus and we want this to be one and then of course we want to set invested points and if i connect this in here like so we can comment this code and this will increase our health and minus one skill point so comment this add health then next over here i want to get my sub health let's unclick get that and from here i want to do a very similar thing let's check invested that's wrong or it's not i just need to get my character reference let's do check uh, invested points so get that here let's get invested points so if this is true we want to this is true we want to get our skill points and we want to minus or we want to add because we're reversing what we just did and we want this to be one and then this guy is going to set our skill points again like so and this will go into true and like so then you want to get our health points and we want to minus 10 not add so over here let's do minus 10 and at the very end we want to get our invested skill points and we want to minus one so get invested points let's do minus that's not a minus that's a minus and let's say one and say set invest points like so into here and this should work lastly what we need to do um i also actually forgot to add a clamp here um that's my bad clamp lastly what we need to do is add our apply button let me just get that here that's correct i think yeah it's not the most uh beautiful code but um it works so let's comment this and say sub health because we're subtracting and i'll drag this over here so next i want to get my apply button and unclicked what i want to do is again get my character reference and i'll say get invested Spell that wrong invested points do minus and we want to minus the invested points like so into here and we will simply set invested points in there and if we connect this everything here uh, comment apply button this should work now the only thing left is to add this widget to our um, player so what's wrong here oh yeah i never connected that into there and same here so if we compile everything should look good and let's add this widget to our player
So go back, go to the event drawer, find your character over here. And this is my health points. So let's go into the event graph. And simply, I'll just do keyboard two. And on this button, I'm going to do pressed. So create widget. Now, I don't know which way you have it. I'll simply do it on two, but you can set that up properly. Uh, skill menu, promote this to a variable, skill menu ref. We can add to viewport to viewport. And then I want my mouse. So get um, player controller to set show mouse cursor. And I also want to be set input game and UI. Connect that there. And connect the mouse at the end and say true. Then we are going to do the opposite. So actually, I'm going to do a flip flop from here. Um, and this B is going to get our skill menu ref. Remove from parent. Like so. And I want to do what I want to do. I want to do this, just the opposite. So copy, paste, and this will be set to set input game only. Connect it there. This is going to be false. And it's not the most pretty, but this is my code for my main menu to show up. Comment main or skill menu actually. And yeah, let's test this. So compile and save. So I actually forgot to do one more thing. Uh, select your skill points over here. Uh, we made this variable and now we need to create a binding. And over here, we want to be able to tell how many points we have. So cast to third person character. Get my player character over here. And from our player character, we want to get skill points. We want to get text to float, uh, format text, and then as we had for reference, break this chain to skill points, double colon, space, then do curly brackets, x curly brackets, and plug this value into x. So this will this way we can tell how many skill points we have. So if we compile a save, now everything should work. So if we hit play, we level up once, we check we have three skill points, level up again, we have six. So let's add two to our health, increases by 20. If we minus, it works. If we hit apply, eh, we can't do that anymore. So yeah, everything is working as it should. So guys, I hope the tutorial was easy enough to follow. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.